So we're walking out into the sound. It doesn't get very deep. No, it, it levels off pretty quickly here. Big parts of our American coastline are disappearing. Trees swallowed up by, among other things, a rising sea. All that's left are exposed stumps and roots in a vast coastal graveyard. And some of these places we call these ghost forests. I mean, we're very far from the shore now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. To understand what's going on here now, we need to rewind the VHS tape back to the late 90s. Back then, my friends and I would drive out to North Carolina's Outer Banks, those islands that jet off the East Coast. And while we were goofing around on the beach for the summer, a powerful force was growing just miles away in a forest just like this one. If you'd come out here instead of to your beach house, you would have been walking through the forest. I don't know exactly when these trees died, but it's in the last 10 or 15 years. Is this because of sea level rise here? So, yes. Duke University biologist Dr. Justin Wright says it's really two problems. First, hurricanes fill these ecosystems with too much water from the higher sea, and droughts are making the mainland way too salty. They either die from drowning, or from thirst because of the extra salinity. That's NC State's Dr. Marcelo Ardon, who has been here studying the ghost forest for years. He's also watched the trees die from NASA satellites. In the past 35 years, a once forested area of North Carolina larger than Washington, D.C., has either transformed into a marsh or fallen into the water altogether. You do really see these extensive places where the trees are just dying. Fisheries are an important source of income for this area as well. The saltiness of the water is so out of whack, fisherman Luke Midget keeps finding freshwater catfish when he goes out looking for saltwater crabs. Usually the bay and stuff in here is full of crabs. This year's not because I believe due to some of the freshwater stuff. This is a piece of infrastructure that actually seems to be working in this situation. It's a ingenious one-way flow valve. The freshwater can come out through the channel into the sound, but the salt water cannot flow the other direction. Water control structures are working in that they're keeping the salinity low. They can seem to slow it, but they're not stopping the change from happening. Basically, what I'm measuring is tree farts. Dead trees do give off a lot of methane, and tree scientist Melinda Martinez is just starting to track it all. When you're thinking about how many trees there are in the world, it's usually not taken into account when you're looking at global estimates. So where is all this tree carbon actually going? Nobody knows yet, but it's certainly no longer here. So you're saying if I come back here in 15 or 20 years, I will need these chest waders right here. Yes, it's right on the coast, very close to the sound, and those waters are going up. 